Hey guys, welcome to the Q&A about creatine. Today I'll be answering the most common question about creatine. I'm happy that you tuned in, so let's get started. So who should be taking creatine? Doesn't make a difference if you're a man or a woman. Either way, I would really suggest you to take creatine if your goal is to improve performance in the gym. If your goal is to improve your health, then you should not be taking creatine. But if you want to get better in the gym, definitely creatine is something to take. But only in on and off cycles, I repeat that, on and off cycles, not all the time. Because your body gets used to it and you won't make any further progress when taking creatine all the time. Unless you increase the dosage of the creatine. But we don't want that. Our goal is to use as little as possible when it comes to supplementation and have the maximum output, right? So that's about um, that question if you should be taking creatine. It depends on the goal. Like I said, if you want to get better and improve the performance in the gym, it's something to consider taking. But if your goal is to improve your health, you don't really need to take creatine. So what should be considered before taking creatine? So before taking creatine, you need to check your blood levels and see how your kidneys are doing. Especially creatinine levels are important because if those are elevated, that means that you have some stress on the kidney already. And when you're taking then the creatine, those values will get even worse. So your kidneys should be all healthy before you think about taking creatine, right? That's also something that you can talk to your doctor too. So don't take just creatine right away without knowing if your kidneys are healthy, right? And if your kidneys are all healthy, then you can start taking creatine. The other thing is, um, when you start taking creatine and you feel like a reaction on your skin, meaning that you have acne, then stop taking it. Don't go through that, like, you know, just accepting the acne, because when you continue taking the creatine and your acne gets worse, or generally if you have acne, it means that your body doesn't like the creatine because it's like an allergic reaction of the skin. So then stay away from creatine, right? The other thing is, you know, if you're digesting the creatine well or not, if you get diarrhea from taking creatine, then you should also stay away from creatine. We are talking about low dosages of creatine, not high dosages. When you're taking a high dose of the creatine, then you will have diarrhea for sure. But if you have it already with the normal dose of creatine, then it's also something that you need to stay away from. So those are the most important things about creatine, what you need to consider before taking it. What's the best form of creatine? Yes, there's some confusion out there because there are so many forms of creatine out there. My favorite is still the creatine monohydrate from the quality label Crea Pure. So Crea Pure is a quality label of the creatine monohydrate. So this is still my favorite. There are also other forms like creatine ethyl ester. We have the creatine HCL, which is the microdosed creatine. And we have the crealkaline. So you see, there's so many creatine forms out there. My favorite is still the creatine monohydrate from Crea Pure combined with HMB. What is HMB? HMB is a metabolite of leucine and there are some studies out there that show that combined with creatine it has synergistic effects in terms of um, preventing the body from losing muscle so it's anti-catabolic and it also has an effect on the protein synthesis and it helps you getting even stronger than when taking creatine only. So the combination makes you even get stronger in the gym and you can gain lean muscle mass when using this combination. I think the study is from the Iowa State University in the US. So you see there's also other scientific research about it uh, from other uh, resources. So. I would always combine creatine with HMB. I'll show you also a great supplement where this is combined already. What's the dosage of creatine that you should be taking? 
I can tell you how I'm supplementing with creatine. I start usually with 5 grams of creatine that I take post-workout and in my off days I take it first thing in the morning. Once my body starts getting used to that, I increase to 10 grams of creatine. That means I take 5 grams of creatine pre-workout, 5 grams post-workout. In my off days then 5 grams first thing in the morning, 5 grams when I go sleeping. Why shouldn't you be taking 10 grams at once? When you take 10 grams at once, there's a high chance that your digestion doesn't want that, meaning that you can get diarrhea. We don't want that, guys. So split it into two intakes, right? And once I'm at 10 grams of creatine, I go as far as I feel like my body is hitting a plateau, meaning that I don't really feel the creatine anymore. And that happens latest after two months of taking creatine. And then I start stopping or I stop taking the creatine for a month. And in the fourth month, I start retaking the creatine again in the low dosage and then increase the dosage to 10 grams. What do I think about a creatine loading phase? I once tried it. I was taking 20 grams of creatine monohydrate per day, which is quite a lot. And I didn't feel a difference in terms of strength gains. I just felt it hard on my digestion because 20 grams is quite a lot. When you consider to try out a creatine loading phase, make sure to divide it into four separate intakes of creatine. That means five grams, for example, first thing in the morning, then five grams pre-workout, five grams post-workout, five grams pre-sleep in order to make sure that it doesn't get hard on your digestion because you're splitting it into small doses of uh, creatine all right instead of taking like 10 or 20 grams at once i will tell you when it's a good thing to take 20 grams or 10 grams of creatine there's one scenario where it makes sense to increase the creatine intake so when does it make sense to increase the creatine intake yes when you're injured so when you have an injury, let's say, let's start with something that is quite common, a tendonitis. So your tendons are, are quite at the limit, you overuse them, then it makes sense to increase the creatine intake. Because what does creatine do in your muscles? It increases the water retention. You have more water in your muscles. And when you have tendonitis, you have like an inflammation in the tendon. And when you increase the creatine intake, you start gaining water so and when you start gaining water it's good for the healing process of the tendon so and then you can increase the creatine intake in order to assist the uh, rehab phase in in order to get you back sooner to the gym right that's the only scenario where it makes sense to increase like short term the creatine intake up to 20 grams why Am I saying that I once had a tendonitis and I increased the creatine intake up to 20 grams short term? I did that for two weeks and I feel, felt a noticeable difference in between before and after taking as much creatine, right? That's the only scenario where it makes sense to increase the creatine in my opinion. Like I said, short term. What creatine am I taking right now? I am taking a creatine that has a combination of creatine monohydrate and HMB because like I said before, there are studies out there that showed that creatine monohydrate combined with HMB has synergistic positive effects. Why it makes sense to combine the creatine monohydrate with the HMB. So this is my creatine that I'm taking. It's the creatine HMB armor right from USN this is great because here you already have it combined you have creatine monohydrate and HMB that's what we want I really like this product and I could feel the difference I don't want to advertise now for my sponsor but I'm really honest now in every video I really believe in this product it's a really good product and I can feel it really well in my workouts that's 
my personal opinion here, right? So, um, yeah, so this is the YouTube video about the creatine, a short Q&A about the creatine, when you should take the creatine, what you need to consider, and what, in my belief, is still the best creatine to take. So make sure to hit the like button if you really like this video and support me on the way to 10,000 subscribers. We are soon there, guys. Let's go.